Hi, I'm Harris Harrington of DepersonalizationRecovery.com. This video is the second in a series called the Depersonalization Cure Tip Series. In this video, I'm going to talk about anxiety and depersonalization. Anxiety and depersonalization are very intricately related. In fact, many people think depersonalization is simply an anxiety disorder. Now, it isn't simply an anxiety disorder. In fact, it's really more of a post-traumatic stress disorder. But that's for another video. In this video, I just want to address symptoms of anxiety related to DP. There are three main fears in depersonalization. One is the fear of going insane. There is the fear of ill health. And there is the fear of existence or existential fears. Now, depersonalization is very psychosomatic. You feel physical symptoms that originate in your mind. Depersonalization is also highly related to hypochondriasis, which is health anxiety. So people with hypochondriasis fear of having a brain tumor or fear that their lungs are going to collapse or that they have a heart problem, when in reality they're totally healthy. And what happens is when you have this health anxiety is what you fear gets manifested in your body. So it's very psychosomatic. And depersonalization is the same way. You feel many things that just aren't real and you come to the conclusion that there's something wrong when there isn't. So the first step in overcoming this anxiety is really psychoeducation. You just have to become very educated about what depersonalization is and all the symptoms so that when the symptoms strike you, you aren't thrown off guard, you understand what's happening, and you realize that you are totally fine. One way to do this is to practice affirmations. So positive mindset is very important to have when you have depersonalization because it will help you feel better when you correct your thoughts, you will actually feel better in your body. But probably the most important piece of advice I could give you for overcoming anxiety related to DP is to practice relaxation on a daily basis. In anxiety, we have an overactive stress response, also called the sympathetic nervous system. To counteract this, you need to engage your relaxation response, called your parasympathetic nervous system. Your parasympathetic nervous system is also referred to as the rest and digest system. And if you don't practice using this, then you are going to be very stressed all the time. In my program, I have a guided visualization, meditation, and progressive muscle relaxation audio tape that should be practiced every day. It's really important to do this just so that you can practice the relaxation response. This will help lower all feelings of anxiety and DP. Another important thing to counteract stress and anxiety is physical exercise. Physical exercise is important because our stress response is meant to make us take physical action in the here and now. But what most people do is they're sitting at a desk and they're thinking thoughts that are frustrating. them. They're thinking fearful imagery and this creates the stress response in their body and there's no physical outlet. So it's really important to practice physical exercise three or more times a week. I hope this video was helpful and answered some questions. I encourage you to see the link below so you can read the accompanying article to this video and make sure you watch all the other depersonalization cure tips in this video series.